welcome to another video from Old Guy Outdoors. Today we're going to do a DIY project on a floating net. Now right now I have a typical wooden net with the uh, fiber plastic uh, net. You know it doesn't stick to hooks very good which is great. That's a great net. But when I'm in the river and I want to take pictures of fish I have to pull them completely out of the water. And I don't like that. And I know that floating nets are very, very expensive. And I'm an old retired guy and I don't have the money. So I'm going to make it. So here we go. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a net. Now, this is my net. It's a, a wooden net. Uh, it, it's a nice net. It's got that plastic uh, rubbery stuff inside so the hooks don't grab it very well that's great uh, gills don't get caught in it it's a perfect net but it doesn't float very well especially with the weight of a fish bouncing around in it so I want a net that I can sit in the water and have it float while I'm fishing while I'm showing off my fish so here we go we need a net then we need what's called foam backing rod. Okay, hope you can see that. Yeah, foam backing rod. You can buy it at a hardware store. Uh, I think I bought this at Lowe's for about four bucks. Then you need four inch cable ties. And I bought just a 40 pound. I'm buying white, or clear, I guess, whatever you want to call them, uh, just so they kind of blend in with my net a little bit. Uh, then, you'll need a pair of pliers to tuck them tight, and little nippers to nip off the tags. Okay? So, here we go. First off, we're going to take our foam. Out of the bag. There's enough foam in here to do about four of these larger nets. Then we're going to take it and measure around and leave enough uh, excess here just in case you miss measure. Okay, and we're going to go back just a little bit. it off with a razor blade. I'm going to take that and measure a duplicate piece. two pieces. Now, what we're going to do first is we'll have to open up our zip ties. Okay, first off we're going to open up our zip ties. Pull quite a few out. Lay them on the table beside me here. Then, we're going to take one side and start it out here and right here where the curve of the net starts that's where we're going to start our first zip tie so we'll just take it in like this put the one on the inside in and the one on the outside and then just bring the zip tie around and uh, pull it tight And now I'm going to pull the zip tie so it comes to the middle of the outside. Just like that. Okay? Now every so often 
we're going to just put another one in. pond and we are going to test whether this net really works and we're going to use this rock pretty good size rock it would kill you if it hits you in the face <laughs> but so we're going to throw that in after we put our net in and see how it goes Okay guys, there you go. Uh, thanks for joining us. Our floating net DIY actually works. So uh, there you go. Please like and share our videos. Hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Till next time, remember, life's a gift. Get outdoors. See you now. Bye.